In this video, I'm gonna be sharing with you five essential plugins for your Amazon affiliate marketing website. Plugins I'm gonna be talking about are plugins that I use on my affiliate marketing sites, including bestroofbox.com and wheelalong.co.uk. If you're not familiar with those two sites, they're my latest affiliate marketing projects, and I share everything about them on YouTube, on this channel. Um, I put the videos into playlists, in fact, and you'll find them in a link in the description. Go check them out. The videos include how I built the sites, how much they're earning, and all the work that I've done on them. The plugins I'm gonna be talking about in this video are a mixture of free plugins and premium plugins. Again, you'll find links to all of the plugins in the description. If they are a premium plugin, the chances are the link is an affiliate link, which means I will earn some commission if you click through and buy the plugins. So yeah, if you do that, thanks very much. I think we're about ready to take a look at the plugins, but one last thing before we do that, if you're not already subscribed, why not do so right now? Just click the subscribe button. Make sure you click the bell to be notified when I upload new videos. And if you enjoy this video, if it helps you out in any way, please click the like button, because that really helps me out. But anyway, let's go. Hello, it's Alex here from WP Eagle. Hope you're all keeping well. Let's jump into the first plugin, and the first plugin is AAWP. AAWP is a premium plugin. It starts at just $39. I'll put a link up now in a card. That is an affiliate link if you use it. Thank you very much. And what AAWP allows you to do is create some fantastic product tables. The ones I'm showing you right now on the screen are from bestroofbox.com, which is my affiliate site, as I already said. And as you can see, the tables are absolutely beautiful. They look great on both a desktop computer and on a mobile phone. They're really flexible. You can pull data in from Amazon using the API, or you can customize the tables with your own data. It's really easy to use, and I found myself installing it on all of my Amazon affiliate websites recently, because not only does it look great, but it also increases your conversion rate. Now, as I've already mentioned, it does use the Amazon API to pull down the information from Amazon. So if you're a brand new Amazon affiliate and you've not yet generated free sales, you won't be able to use it because you won't have access to your API keys. As well as creating fantastic tables, you can also use it to pull down product information and display that in various different ways, including some lovely looking boxes. So that's AAWP, my favorite Amazon table plugin. If you have generated free sales with Amazon and you're an established affiliate, I would recommend you get yourself a copy of this right now. The next plugin I'm going to share with you is called Easy Table of Contents. It's a free plugin, and as the name suggests, it adds a table of contents to your content. So it looks a bit like this, and yeah, it generates it automatically using the headings that you've got within your articles. And it's a great way of improving your SEO and help your users navigate your content more easily. It works well with page builders, including Divi and Elementor, and of course it works with Gutenberg. It also supports the Rank Math plugin, which is my favorite SEO plugin. It's really easy to set up. As I say, you basically just install it and tick a couple of boxes and it will automatically insert the table of contents into your article. Yeah, so there we go. That's easy table of contents. It's easy, it's free, and yeah, you need to have it on your site. The next plugin is Related Posts for WordPress. Now this is a free plugin with a premium option if you require it. And again, it's a very lightweight, simple plugin that basically adds some related post links to the bottom of your content. You can see it in action on bestroofbox.com and wheelalong.co.uk. Just scroll down to the bottom of an article and you'll see the links. They're generated automatically and it works out which links are best uh, by looking at the category and the tags and, and all that kind of thing. So. It basically does it all for you. There's not much configuration that you need to do. I think having links to related content at the bottom of your articles is a good thing for SEO, as internal links are a really good thing for Google, as it follows them and it uses them to figure out what your content is about. I also think it's a good way of improving your page views as people are more likely to click around your site and view more articles. You'll probably be fine with the free version of this plugin, but if you need a bit more flexibility and a bit more control over which posts are showing where, then the premium version might be for you. Uh, don't worry, it only costs a few dollars. So there we have it, related post for WordPress. If you're not running it already, I suggest you go check it out. The next plugin is a premium plugin, but it's worth every penny, and the plugin is called WP Rocket. WP Rocket is a site optimization plugin 
that enables caching and does a whole load of other tweaks to your site to make it run nice and fast. If you're not currently running any performance or caching plugins on your site, I recommend you get yourself one right now as they can really help your uh, Google PageSpeed score and just generally speed up your site so that when visitors um, come to take a look, it loads quickly and they're able to click about without having to wait. Now I've tried out a number of different caching plugins and there are some quite good free ones like WP Fastest Cache, but WP Rocket seems to make the biggest difference in terms of the performance of my sites and the Google PageSpeed score. And as we move into next year, the speed of your site is gonna have a bigger effect on how well your site ranks on the search engines. WP Rocket starts at just $49. I'm gonna put a link up now so you can go check it out. That is an affiliate link, so thank you very much if you use it. But yeah, $49 for one site is pretty reasonable and it can make a huge difference to the performance of your site. The other thing that I really like about WP Rocket is that it's really simple to set up. Some of these caching plugins like W3, they just have tons and tons and tons of options and it's just overwhelming. But with WP Rocket, there's just a few tick boxes and uh, then you're done. So if you're not running WP Rocket, do go check it out. I'd love to know how it affects your site, what kind of performance gains you get. Do leave me a comment below, I'd love to hear from you. Final plugin that I install, not only on my Amazon affiliate websites, but on every single website, is the WP Vivid Backup plugin. Now those of you that have used my templates that I provide with my tutorials, you'll be familiar with WP Vivid. For those of you that haven't, basically what it is, is a backup plugin. It allows you to easily package up your website, into a file or multiple files, depending on how big your site is. Download those files so that you can keep them nice and safer than if you need to restore your site at any point. You just upload those files back into WP Vivid and click a couple of buttons and your site's back to where it was, as good as new. Now I do love WordPress, of course I do, you, you know that. Um, but WordPress does have a few little issues. One of them being that it's often the victim of many a cyber attack. Those of you who have had some WordPress sites for any length of time will probably have experienced this, where your site gets hacked or you know someone injects some malicious code or, or something horrible like that, and basically brings your site down. This is of course where your backup comes in. If you've got regular backups, it's very easy to fix a security breach because you just simply restore your site and then make sure that you, you know, update all your plugins and kind of tighten up security. If you haven't got a backup, it can be quite tricky uh, to clean up after an attack. The other reason why you want to keep a backup is sometimes things go wrong, especially if you're installing new plugins or new themes or just generally tinkering around with WordPress. Sometimes, you know, mistakes happen and yeah, your site breaks. Again, having a backup is um, a lifesaver in these situations uh, because if something does go wrong, you can just simply restore the backup and you're back to where you were. WP Vivid Backup is a free plugin. I think there is a pro version available, but I've never really had the need for that. So you should be fine just with the free one. So there's my five essential plugins for an Amazon affiliate website. We had AAWP, the fantastic table builder, with also the options to pull in product details using the Amazon API. We also had Easy Table of Contents, which has a fantastic table of contents automatically to the top of your content. Then we have related posts for WordPress, which adds some lovely links to related content on your site. Then we had the super fast WP Rocket that improves your website performance and increases your Google PageSpeed score. And then finally, we had the WP Vivid backup plugin, which basically gets you out of trouble when things go wrong on your website. So that brings us to the end of this video. I'd love to know which plugins you are running on your Amazon affiliate website. Do let me know in the comments. I do read all the comments that I get and I'll try my best to reply to as many as I possibly can. If you're not yet subscribed, you can do so by clicking on my face. Why not check out the vlog channel, click on my other face over there. And here are a couple more videos chosen specially for you. <laughs> Hope you enjoy them. Until next time, bye for now.